Hello everyone, this is Denise. And um, for viewers who may be following me from my other channel, I am Something Beautiful Handcrafts. And I want to share my newest little hobby, the kalimba. So I've been looking at this little thing on uh, pretty much AliExpress for like the past couple years. I don't ever recall seeing the kalimba or it's, it goes under various other names like ever in my life, but I've been a musician for years. So at first my solid was on AliExpress. I didn't know anything about it. I'm not even sure if it was called Kalimba and I just wanted one cause it looked really cool. But if you've ever shopped on AliExpress before, um, there's a lot of things that are on AliExpress that come like out of those, you know, you've seen those catalogs like Finger Hut and Carter's and all that kind of stuff. And you're always like, does this stuff real? And you think if you purchase it, you know, will it really be something that you want? So I never did get one. And I always said, you know, when I had somebody to throw away, I would just get some. Meanwhile, I throw money away on dolls. At any rate, I was in the thrift store the other day looking for doll stuff and came across this. And of course, when I saw it, I knew exactly what it was. And I was like, okay, this is my opportunity to give this little guy a try. So I took it home and uh, it took a bit to get adjusted to because first it needed to be tuned. And I was trying to figure out, you know, how do I pluck it with these fingernails and got it tuned and it's like the cutest little thing, but it's only eight notes. And you can play quite a few things with eight notes, but I wanted to play some of the more advanced songs. And so I said, you know, well, now that I've got this in front of me and I'm playing it and I've showed it to all my relatives, they think it's really cool too. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get a one with 17 keys. And I had to debate about 17 keys or 21 keys or 17 keys or 21 keys. So I just went ahead and got the 17 key one. I got it off Amazon. Uh, I usually don't shop for anything on Amazon. It's not my favorite place. It's Amazon's like Walmart. You go there when you have to, and you have a certain price point, but you kind of don't like it. So at any rate, sorry, Amazon. At any rate, my dad is like big time Amazon. He's also one of the big time catalog buyers. Uh, and so <laughs> he had like $15 worth of Amazon points. So I got this one right here, 17 key one for almost nothing. So let me show it to you. This is my unboxing. And I am like so new to it. I can't even tell you what's called. It says M I F O O. No, that's M I F O G E Kalimba. Uh, Mifogi, maybe. If I pronounced it wrong, don't hurt me. And this is pretty much exactly as it came out of the Amazon bag. And one, there's a couple of reasons why I chose this one um, for aesthetics, because I liked the way it looked. Um, I liked the items that came with it. And in truth, I liked the case because there were some other ones I would have gotten, but they had just a bag. And I really wanted a harder case for my first uh, kalimba because I am accident prone. <clears throat> so let's have a look at this right here. I wanted a darker wood, but I want it with a lighter wood. This is... Okay, so it's really pretty. There's a model number and the made in China. You can see that this is uh, carved and just engraved. It feels a little deeper than just an engraved. It feels carved, so it's engraved on there. This is a hollow one. And I watched a bunch of videos about whether I should get a hollow one or a flat one or an acrylic one. So uh, this one, of course, is a hardwood. And supposedly the Hardwood sustains longer, but the hollow is, um, has more sound, has a louder sound. And so it feels okay. It's really light. I know that, I think it's Tips Kalimba said that the acrylic would be heavier and, um, the acrylic is very modern looking and I tend to like, you know, more traditional ones. This one was a lighter wood. I would have liked the darker wood, but that's okay. Uh, my next color, but maybe I get a darker wood. So here it is in the case. It sits face down. 
into the case. My next case, I will get one that has the, um, it'll have that net across that holds everything in. But this is pretty good. This one does have the indentation for the hammer to sit in, which is really nice. And then here are the thumb finger things, which I really thought I would want. After playing the little one, it might not be necessary, but I'm going to give them a go anyway. The cleaning cloth. And the colored strips to mark, which I will mark my keys. The uh, number letter. But I don't really need those because they're engraved on here. I, I might put them on the little kalimba. We'll see how that goes. I had planned to get this one and give the little kalimba away to my nieces or nephew, but that might not happen either. My understanding is uh, I might want to tune each of these kalimbas to a different key especially if I'm going to be playing um, some of the more complicated tunes or anything that's a might be a little gospely and I don't want to um, I don't want to transpose too much of so I'm, I may want to keep one that is just C and transpose some of the you know set up another one for a different key and this is the booklet. I'm gonna have a peek at it, see how it goes. Okay, so here's a disclaimer about this. <clears throat> I'm not a beginner, okay? Uh, the kalimba is new to me, but I've been playing piano and alto saxophone since high school. So I know music, I know scales, I know music theory. I can read and write music. So. How I feel about this kalimba may be a little different than if I was like an actual beginner. So this is like my first 17 key kalimba, but it's not my first instrument. So the first thing I want to see is how it sounds. This one sounds a little stiff maybe. Doesn't really have any resonance resonance uh but i'm going to put it to the tuner see that one i don't know if you can hear that it has nice resonance this one and that might just be because it is the highest key that could be because it's stiff and i need to move it around and lift it or that could be because it it's, doesn't really sound dead I don't know if I want to call that dead. I think it just might be stiff. So I'm going to move it around and by my next video. So you will know whether it's not, it's dead or not. Um, if it's dead, I'll probably send the whole thing back and wait for a new one. Um, otherwise if it's just stiff or, um, anything like that, I have some things I can do to see if it, if I can get it to work. Cause that one's beautiful. Okay, so I'll let you know about that. All right, so if you're watching this on my Something Beautiful Handcrafts channel, I think I'm going to post on both channels. I only play Christian music, mostly gospel, some contemporary Christian music. So I will be uploading all the rest of my kalimba videos to my Christian channel. So if that's part of your flavor, you can join me over there. Or of course, if you're watching on this channel, you already know what I do on this channel. Um, I will also play some Christmas music. So I might put the Christmas music on both channels, but I can definitely say that on the other channel, I'm going to play and record my Christmas music for my doll vlogmas videos how many of those i actually put out in december so that will be me playing in the background Alrighty, thank you for watching and before i forget <laughs> i want to say that this is eastman and what i will do is put the description of what this is i'm gonna wing 
and it'll be here on the screen so you will know. Um, this was listed as $34, I think. Might have been $35. But then there was a $5 coupon, so that was like $29. And then my dad had the point, so it was more like $14 when I got done. So generally, it's about $30, about $35. And it was ranked $17 out of, I don't know what, I don't know how many thumb pianos there were, but there, maybe there were like a thousand. I don't know. But this particular model is ranked 17 on Amazon. So I don't know if that really means anything, but I figured that I would try to get as high up in the ranking as possible when I chose a kalimba, just so I didn't feel like I didn't enjoy the experience because I there was actually something wrong with the instrument and not with me. But like I said, I'm not a beginner, so I, I would have known if there was something wrong with the instrument and not really me because I've played enough percussion and, you know, keyboard instruments. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.